Hi kids, it's Susan from Leisure World's Fitness Center. I'm so happy to be able to make these videos for you. Um, but I would really like to hear some comments, some of your thoughts. If you could leave some comments down at the bottom of this video, that would be super terrific. I just want to tell you that today's class is going to be a body weight only class. There's no equipment that's going to be needed. So it's probably not a level one class or a level two class. We are going to be getting on and off the floor. We'll be doing a little bit more advanced exercises. So it's probably a level three, level four, level five class and I have some modifications that I'll be offering to make those different adjustments. We've got 10 exercises that we're going to be doing and the exercises are as follows. We're going to start out with some squat jumps and if you're not up to the squat jumps right now I will be discussing modifications that you'll be able to make. We're going to be doing T push-ups. You can always do your push-ups on your knees as an option bottom up lunges, upper back squeezes, lay, one leg bridges. We'll be doing some hip dips or hip twists. It's the same thing, just refer to a different name. Um, also some plank jacks, one arm tricep presses, skater lunge to a skater jumps, and a bent knee stretch or a double leg stretch for some abdominal work. Now with our planks and with our bridges and some of our other exercises, we will be working our abdominals throughout our workout and that's by design. I will want to bring your attention to the beginners and that's what I'm gonna be doing today. The beginner is going to be 30 seconds of work with 15 seconds of rest. If you're a moderate exerciser, you will be doing the exercises for 45 seconds, each exercise for 45 seconds, and then 20 seconds of rest. If you're an advanced exerciser, you'll be doing each exercise for one minute, and then a 30 second rest between exercises. Now I'll be just doing one round for time purposes, but I'd like you to do at least two rounds, and in between the rounds, you'll have one full minute of rest. So uh, that's, the way we're going to be working our, our program uh, for this workout exercise. So we're going to do the squat jumps for 30 seconds and then we'll rest for 15 seconds. Then we'll be moving on to the T push-ups and 30 seconds. So we're gonna be doing all 10 exercises, boom, 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 with only 15 seconds in between, okay? All right, so I've got my timer set and I have some music ready, ready to go. But let me just first remind you that you should always consult with your physician before engaging in any physical activity program. By participating in this online exercise class, you assume all dangers, hazards, and risks of such participation. The exercises demonstrated by the instructors in this online class are physically demanding. If you are unable to safely perform these exercises, please modify them for your own safety or choose a different set of exercises. And and also feel free to stop the video at any time and you'll need some aqua don't mind if I do to wet my whistle okay maybe you'll need a mat too because if you're going to do your push-ups on your knees you might want to have some cushioning for your knees and we are going to do some planks so be mindful of that okay so we're going to have a 10 second countdown and you may not hear my, uh, my timer, but we're gonna begin with our squat jumps. Okay, so it'll work like this. If you can't do your squat jumps, we'll just start out with some squats. Those hips push back, those knees are above your ankles, your chest is lifted. Or you could do a squat and then come up on the toes. Option two, okay, sitting back, up on the toes. Or you can do those squat jumps. 30 seconds, our timer is on. Nice job. That was 30 seconds, 15 second rest. Now we're gonna be doing those T push-ups. Again, you can just stay with your push-ups on your knees, down and up. Or you can come up on your toes. We're gonna do one push-up. We'll do a T, come back down, one push up, 
We'll do another T, other side. One push up to a T. One push up, other T. Good. Now keep going. Keep those abdominals engaged. When you do your T, make sure that that arm stays just above your shoulder. Nice work. Okay, so we're gonna do bottoms up lunges. Option here. You can stand, just do a reverse lunge. That's your beginner option. Bottom up lunge will be, will be starting down on that left leg. So we're just gonna come up and down. It's not all the way up. Those shoulders are back, those abs are in. It's a tiny little pulse. All the weight is in my left heel. Keep breathing into that. Tiny little pulse here. From the bottom to the top, not all the way to the top. Stay with me, nice job. Now we're gonna switch legs. Right leg in front. I'm starting on the bottom, abs in. I'm enjoying this break. <laughs> all right, here we go. So it's just a tiny little move. I'm working that butt and those hamstrings, my knees behind my toes, my chest is lifted. I'm not leaning forward. My abdominals are engaged. Here's the active core work I was referring to earlier. Keep breathing into that. Take a break if you need to. Nice job. Go ahead and Stretch it out. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing some upper back exercises. You can start here, and you're just gonna pulse out. I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades together behind you. Think about having a walnut. This is option one, opening and squeezing. Option two, palms face the, ceil the ceiling. Now I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades together behind you. Keep pushing back. Option three, most advanced. Hinge from the hips, palms face the ceiling. Abs engaged. Squeeze the upper back, those shoulder blades together. Keep breathing into that. Nice job. 15 second rest. We're moving down to the floor. Now we've got bridges. One leg bridges is more advanced. Otherwise you can just stay here using both feet. I'm going to start lifting my left leg. Pull that belly button in. You can always bring those arms up to make it more advanced. You're pushing through that left heel. That left butt cheek and hamstrings are working. My abdominals are engaged. I've got a fist distance between my chin and chest. Keep pushing through that left heel. Press those shoulder blades into the mat. Good. Lower, and we're gonna take our break. We've got that left leg. Now we're gonna be working that right butt cheek and hamstrings. Abdominals are engaged, hands by your side, or you can just push it up. This would be your most advanced option. I want you to focus on that butt cheek and hamstrings, pushing through that right heel. Keep that belly button engaged. Push. Keep breathing. Relax your shoulders. Those abs are in. And don't hold your breath. You're pushing that heel toward the ceiling, that left heel toward the ceiling. Nice job. Go ahead and lower. Now we're rolling over. We've got those hip dips or the hip twists. Elbows directly underneath your, your, shoulder, your shoulders. You can stay on your knees, option one. You're gonna twist, tap that hip side to side, or on your toes, hip to the floor. Keep reaching through the crown of the head, pull that belly button in. I want you to tap the floor, working those obliques. Keep the elbows directly underneath those shoulders to protect your shoulders. Keep breathing and don't hold your breath. Nice job, go ahead, lower those knees. Now, we're moving on to plank jacks. 
The wrists are gonna be directly underneath your shoulders. My legs are gonna be extended. Option here, out, out, in, in. Okay, don't always start with that right or left leg. Okay, option one, or out and in. Keep that belly button in. Don't tuck the chin in. Don't look up. Keep reaching through the crown of the head. Do what you can. Keep moving, good. Okay, now we're gonna do one arm tricep press. I want you to do your left arm first. Laying on my right side, right arm underneath me. My knees are 90 degrees. Left hand between my shoulder and elbow. Exhale, push up and down, push. See if you can straighten that tricep. Try not to bring the elbow all the way down and rest. Push and exhale. Push into that hand. So, maybe if, if you're here, that's okay. You can't push yourself any further, that's okay. But the idea is to get it all the way up, working the full head. Good, okay? Let's roll over to the other side. Are we doing okay? Get that water if you need to. Stop the video if you need to. All right, right hand between the shoulder and the elbow. Knees are bent, push and straighten that arm. Okay, kids, this is the underarm jiggle us ladies hate, right? That arm shaking your hand. I guess we won't be shaking hands much these days anymore, huh? But it's still the underarm jiggle that we hate. So keep breathing into that. Work those triceps. Let's get nice shapely arms for the summer. Good. Okay, now we're gonna come to a standing position. The skater jump. I'm going to step, sit back into that left heel, step together, and then skate. Step, sit back into that left heel, together, skate. Step, sit back, step together, skate. Now I have my foot off the floor, a little more core work. You wanna keep that right leg straight. Good, now I'm gonna to step to the left. Shoulders are back and down, abs in. Left leg steps out. Left leg, sit back in that left heel, step. Skate, left heel, step, skate. Left heel, step, skate. Good, so we wanna keep that heart rate up there. Keep your chest lifted, activate that butt. Good. All right, we'll come back to the floor here. More uh, traditional ab work. So bend knees stretch. Low back stays into the mat. I'm gonna keep my head, neck, and shoulders lifted. You're just gonna reach those arms up and then lower, and then reach and lower. This distance between your chin and chest. This is option one, okay? Option two. Double leg stretch. Now, when you're extending those legs, keep that low back into the mat. So you're pulling the belly button in. Inhale here. And go ahead, hug those knees in. So that was the 10 exercises, round one, okay? Uh, you can stop the video, re go back to the beginning and replay it. So right now, I'm gonna stretch everything out so you guys can cool down. All right, so what I want you to do is roll over. So that was round one. Stop the video, go back to the beginning, or if you wrote down the exercises, 
Do it all over again. 30 second work, 15 second rest. And then when you're done with your rounds, come and stretch with me. We're gonna do just a little bit of yoga, okay? Just to stretch things out nice and long. So those wrists are directly underneath your shoulders. Knees are directly underneath your hips. Turn those toes under. Pull that belly button in. Inhale here. As you exhale, lift those knees, push those hips back. The hips push up. The tailbone pushes toward the ceiling. Lengthen those arms. Pull those shoulders away from your ears. And feel that stretch. Now, if you can, try and get those heels down. If you're here, that's fine. If you're here, that's fine. Some people don't have the, uh, the flexibility to put those heels down or those, uh, those hamstring stretches. Now, I'm adding a little more abdominals here. Go ahead and lift that leg that's closest to me. Now, pull that belly button in, that leg's lifted. Keep those hip bones facing the floor. Inhale here. As you exhale, pull that knee into your chest. Inhale and lengthen. If this is too much, you can bring that knee further away from me onto the floor. That leg is lifted, bring it to the opposite elbow. Keep that core in. Lift that leg, bring that same knee to the same elbow. Go ahead and lift. Bring that knee in once again, abs in, exhale, and walk that leg between your hands. If your knee isn't bent, bring that back knee to the floor. Now that front knee just above the ankle. Inhale here. Now as you exhale, I want you to push that hip back, that front hip back, and sink that back hip forward. So you're stretching out the back hip flexors and those quads. Breathing into that, you can hold it here, all the weights in that front heel. If you wanna look up, a little more challenge. This is your low lunge. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring one hand on either side of that front foot. This hand that's closest to me, bring it to your low back. Inhale here, lengthen your posture. As you exhale, go ahead, Rotate that shoulder toward the ceiling. You're now you're rotating from the torso. You're not rotating those hips. Those hips are facing forward. Now you can hold it here. I want you to open up that side of the chest. Option, you can extend that arm straight up. Another option, if you wanna look up at that hand, tuck that chin into your chest. Look underneath the armpit and follow that gaze. Only do that if that's available for your head and your neck. You don't have to do it at all. You can just keep looking down. Breathe into that. Feel that nice stretch. Go ahead and lower that hand. Now, we're gonna lift up that toe as we straighten that leg. Inhale here, keep a nice straight posture. As you exhale, think about bringing the abdominals to that thigh as you fold forward. Good, now that toe points up. I don't wanna see any rounding here. Notice the difference between square shoulders and rounded shoulders. It's not the head coming down, it's the abdominals coming down. Breathing into that, you should get a good stretch all the way up into that butt. Inhale here and lift. Go ahead and bend that front knee. Turn those back toes under, lift that back knee up, walk that front leg forward, and then go ahead, lower those knees, hips, chest, chin to the floor. Turning those toes under. Inhale here, now those elbows are close to the body, those hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale here and push up. Turn those toes under, bend those knees, Push those hips back, exhale, and lift those hips up toward the ceiling. Now I'm just gonna turn around. We're gonna do the other side. Alrighty, so take that back leg, or maybe I should just stay here. 
I'll stay here. So we'll take that back leg, lift that leg up, pull that belly button in. Exhale, bring that belly button to the spine, bring that knee to your chest. Inhale and lengthen that leg. Exhale, bring that knee to the opposite elbow. Inhale and lengthen that leg, keep those hips square. Exhale, bring that same knee to that back elbow. Inhale and lengthen, that was some core work. Exhale, knee into the chest. And walk that foot between your hands. Lower that back knee. Now, this back knee, or that front knee, this back knee, just above the ankle. Pull that belly button in. Inhale here and lift. Now, as you exhale, push into that heel, push that back hip back, but I want you to sink that front hip forward. So you feel the stretch all in here. Lengthening those hip flexors. All the weights in that heel. Go ahead and look up as an option. Shoulders away from the ears. Those hips are facing forward. Abdominals are engaged. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lean forward. Hands on either side of that foot. Take that back hand to your low back. Inhale here and lengthen the posture. As you exhale, rotate toward that back side. Only lifting and twisting from the torso. You can stay here, opening up that back side of the chest. Or you can extend that arm up directly above your shoulder. You can keep looking down. Option, if you want to look up at these fingers, tuck that chin into your chest. Look underneath the armpits and follow that gaze all the way up. Nice job. Go ahead and lower that hand. Now lift up those back toes so you're on your heel. Hands by your side. Inhale, lengthen the posture. Shoulder square. Exhale, hinge and bring those abdominals toward that thigh. Again, we're not rounding. It's not about bringing the head to your shin. Breathing into that stretch. Feel that stretch all the way up into that butt. Good, inhale and lift. Go ahead and bend that knee. Now, I just want you to bring that back knee behind you. Bring both of those knees underneath your hips. Your hands underneath your, your wrists, underneath your shoulders. We'll do a couple of cat and cows here. So inhale, push those hips back, shoulders away from the ears, looking up. Exhale, tuck that chin in, round out those shoulders, push those hips forward. One more time, inhale, hips back, belly button in, look up. And exhale, tuck the chin in, round out those shoulders, abdominals engaged, hips push forward. And we really need this stretch for those back stretches that we did, or those back squeezes. Breathing into that. Go ahead, sit back on those heels into your child pose. Those arms are overhead. Now take that back arm, turn the palm up, Bring it underneath that front armpit. Let's bring that back shoulder to the mat and that ear to the mat so we can stretch out those shoulders from those planks and those push-ups and your hip twists. Keep breathing into that stretch. That palm faces the ceiling. Hmm, that feels good. Good, go ahead and bring that back arm around and to the front your front arm turn the palm up bring it underneath that back armpit bring that shoulder to the mat if it's available bring that ear to the mat sitting back on those heels and feeling the stretch in those deltoids and those shoulders that should feel fabulous Inhale here and lift. Exhale and walk their hands back. Now go ahead and sit on that back hip and swing those legs around to the front. We'll do one more stretch and then 
We'll be done with our class for today. Inhale, bringing those arms up. Make sure the shoulders are just above the hips. Lengthen that posture. Exhale, again, bring those abdominals toward those thighs and fold forward. Try not to round those shoulders. Bring the abdominals toward the thighs. Breathe into that stretch. Release any stretch in that low back and those hamstrings. We'll do one more breath here. On your next inhalation, breathe that belly, pull that belly button in. Inhale and use those abs to lift. Exhale and lower those arms. And once again, don't forget to leave some comments and some future stuff that you'd like to see. I want to thank you all for joining me today and have a great rest of your day.